Yeah, let's get it. So, 5'8", 205. Um, I still got the plate on. Not that it's a, it, as intense as like a sissy squat, but that's that's what I'm really enjoying about the plated um, variation because it allows a deeper stretch. You know what I mean? Anytime your el your heels are up and your your knees go more in front of your toes, you're gonna really stretch that quad. So I'm really enjoying this. You know, we had some imbalances with the conventional squat, so I figured to do this. You know, work on form and try to grow my quads up. You know, a little bit, and you know, eventually we'll hop back on the regular conventional. But let's do this eight times, man. <laughs> Dude, I actually felt that in my butt. I hope that was eight. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm speeding through this anyway in the video. Last set, look. I'm only editing this to speed it up to make it look like they're easy, but this takes a lot of like mental toughness. Like, I'm not trying to be corny, but like squats suck. There's nothing fun about squats, man. You could argue that, you know, uh, the most impressive feature on a guy is having big quads. I'm not gonna disagree, you know, but that's all subjective too, right? I don't like them. You could like them, I don't like them, but I want this, you know, I want to compete and I want to, you know, we talked about choosing your heart yesterday. This is my heart and I want to do it. Having, having you know, chicken legs is hard because you're, you're um, self-conscious about them. You know, your self-esteem is low, but, you know, having thick quads and having to work for them sounds way more rewarding than, than skipping leg day. You know what I'm saying? I can finally, like, give you some inspiration. I can finally wear pants without putting a belt on because my, my ass is growing. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, let's do this last set. Um, then we got biceps. I did it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. 205. Dude, the progressions are going up insane. 205, we gotta do 225 next week, right? We just gotta put 245 pound plates on. That was sick. I did it, Cody. All 40 reps, dog. That's how you do it, baby. Eating in a deficit. All right, let's do some fun stuff. Biceps.
Yo, what up? Back. I was gonna call this the lab, but technically the. <laughs> let me get this. Uh, let me move this out of the way. So yeah, we got we got a youngin, and he's always on the move, and he comes in here when I'm working. Just kind of hangs out, you know. I mean, it's probably you guys are probably like, "Yo, I hear your kid crying in the background," but we uh, we're fortunate enough to be able to afford a nanny. So yeah, we have a nanny. She's here right now. Um, you know, we got we got one in school. Another two are not old enough to go to school. Three youngins. More ass. <laughs> But, yeah, I, you know, I love the unscripted stuff. I think that, you know, I'm never going to try to be anyone I'm not. And I feel like a lot of scripting is, like, kind of, you know, kind of cringe. But I could do better about figuring out a topic to talk about every day. You know what I mean? Um, all right, you guys probably can't see me that good. Here we go. Just raw and in there. How's that? Better? Not much better. I got a window here. Natural lighting. But, um, yeah, it's early. It's always cloudy here. It doesn't really affect my mood, man. The only thing, like, I would suggest if you guys live in climates like I do and the sun doesn't come out a lot, probably supplement some vitamin D. So, and that's like, I'll admit, you know, some of you guys are going to roll your eyes. I love vegetables. But, like, I don't like cooking. <laughs> I just spit rice out of my mouth. I mean, I like cooking. So, last night, I'll share a photo right now. Like, somewhere here. That's that steak I made last night. Like, I like cooking. I'm not saying I'm the best cook. Some of you guys will watch me, you know, make that full day eating, eating video. But... I don't eat my vegetables like I should. You know what I'm saying? I'll admit that. I think vegetables don't really matter as far as like macro, you know, count, but they have a lot of important like micronutrients too. But since I don't eat a lot of vegetables, I make it a point, you know, I do the multivitamins twice a day, or sorry, once a day, but there's two pills. It, it suggests three, so it's the Optimin... It's Optimum Nutrition Men's Multivitamin. But the doses with that is three of them. And it's like a lot, dude. Like, I'm being just TMI. My urine comes out like bright green. Because all the, like all the B vitamins in it and stuff. But the first time, like the first week, this was like two weeks before I started vlogging. I was taking three a day. And I got like an insane migraine for like a few days. And I was just like, man, what is different? Like, what? And, and, and I think it ended up being that. So I cut it back to one, and it kind of went away. So I don't know if I was just, like, uh, not overdosing. That's not the right word to say. Like, taking too much micronutrient, you know what I'm saying? Something was messing my brain up, my head up, for sure. Um, it sucked, because one day I had to quit working out, because um, it just hurt so bad. But anyway, none of that matters. So, Bob and D... I don't know how true it is. I'm probably talking out my butt, but I also heard that vitamin D can help naturally boost tests, which I mean, it's just microscopic. But five percent, you know, five nanograms of test is you know five more than you had before. You know what I mean? But uh, I heard that. Um, but I take it because I don't get a lot of sun exposure. That's why I take it. I take a probiotic because I'm like a big like gut health guy. Um. Not that I always eat organic stuff, but um, I think it's important. Gut health, you know, happy gut, happy butt. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something wrong. What am I even talking about? Anyway, supplements. Um, we'll just talk about supplements. So vitamin D, multivitamin, um, probiotic. That's just a personal preference. I'm not suggesting that. And vitamin D. I mean, it's up to you. But I would definitely take a multivitamin for sure. And, um, fish oil. Fish oil is good for, like, you know, I mean, it's got 
the omega-3, you know, the really good fats and fatty acids. It's good for like joint health, heart health, you know, helping lower your cholesterol, stuff like that. So I take around 3,200 milligrams. I think my dosage, no, it'd be somewhere like 3,600, 3,600 milligrams of fish oil. I take three capsules of that, two capsules of multivitamin, vitamin D probiotic, and, uh, yeah, that's it. And creatine. I know Cody kind of went on a spill. Cody's like, so, I like working out with Cody. I'm not going to say he's like the yin to my yang. But he's like, he like nerds out about like nutrition. You know, kind of how your body reacts to like the food you eat stuff. Which is cool, man. Like, that stuff I never really worry about. I'm still like, if it fits your macros, guy. I just want to make sure, get my carbs, protein, you know, fat, and then I just make sure to eat in a surplus or a deficit. Like, as far as, like, what does what, I don't know. That's his jam. But my jam is, like, form, dude. Like, I'm a, like, really big form Nazi. So, I probably shouldn't have said Nazi. I'm a, <laughs> say, I'm just out of control. Um, I'm a form critique, if you will. So, we messed up. Because he keeps me, he keeps me thinking about, like, food and stuff. And like supplements and whatnot. I mean, I keep him like I make sure that he's got really good form. You know, when he's working out with me. But yeah, man, dude's getting big. He's been working out, you know, three months. I mean, there's a lot of lifts he's stronger than me. Like his shoulders are stronger than me. I would argue. I don't know who's bigger. I feel like my shoulders are pretty big. I mean, he's got big shoulders, but he's stronger than me in shoulders. You know, strength doesn't matter. He asked me, he was like, "Would you ever be stronger?" You know big and I'm like big a million times over like I don't really care about strength I mean I do it's fun but um see this is why I need to have a script <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm talking about nonsense uh but yeah it's been fun man I hope you guys are enjoying the new videos too just I guess like one thing I would talk about is you know I say it all the time just be intense be consistent. Do something that's fun, man. Have fun. Be a sponge. Don't, like, show some humility, you know. Go in the gym and be open. That doesn't mean you have to do everything a trainer tells you. But, like, be open, you know. Learn and then do what works for you. And then eat your food, you know. Weigh your food. And, you know, make sure you're either eating, you know, maintenance. Or if you want to gain weight, eating a surplus. If you want to lose weight, eating a deficit. I'm losing weight. I was 230 today. Well, your show's 229.8. I'm back up to 230. That's 230 flat. So, um, it's going good, though. It's going good. I think, I don't know, I'm still like, you know, we're in that, uh, the, you know, I was talking about engineering a few weeks ago. We're in that whole design review phase, you know, kind of figuring out what, like, the, the final products gonna look like you know i just gotta i'm gonna have to tweak my diet and stuff i'm sure you know i don't want to lose weight too quick but i don't want to slowly lose it either i'm thinking like you know a half a pound a pound a week two or so you know what i mean so but that's it man hope you guys enjoy the video tomorrow we got uh dumbbell bench press and shoulders all right Thank you guys so much. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.